faith in God, serving him, obeying him, doing his will, builds confidence in our lives. And anytime we start trusting God and allowing his word to stay in our hearts, we become more confident people. The future becomes very uh, hopeful, expectant. Even in a season of uncertainty, of chaos, when God's word is anchored in us, we have confidence. That confidence is important for us to win the battles of life. So the book of Hebrews tells us in Hebrews chapter 10, verse 35 to 36, Therefore, do not cast away your confidence, which has great reward. For you have need of endurance, so that after you have done the will of God, you may receive the promise. Therefore, do not cast away your confidence. Why? Because your confidence has great reward. So that confidence we have in God, in his word, that makes us very hopeful about the future is not self-delusion, is not hallucination. You're not just trying to pep yourself up. That confidence, the scripture says, has great reward. And, and so because of that, we must endure. Because many times we start with confidence. We can start with confidence, believing God is in charge. God is in control. Things are going to work out for me. I'm going to overcome. And then you hit the storms of life and you hit some bad patches. And all of a sudden, you cast away your confidence. You start being very unsure of your future. But the Bible says, don't cast away your confidence. And that's what I want to encourage you with. Today, don't cast away your confidence. And the passage also encourages us to endure. To endure means to stay on. It's like somebody who is running a marathon. A marathon requires endurance. Endurance is you keep running and you keep on the tracks and you keep pushing on. Although you feel tired and you feel weak, you still keep going. Why? Because there is a reward for you. God rewards our confidence in him. The three Hebrew boys in the, in the book of Daniel who were thrown into a fiery furnace had confidence in God that even in the fire, God would deliver them. And they said, even if God doesn't deliver us, we still have confidence in him. And that is the kind of confidence we must have not to cast away our confidence in the midst of the fiery trials of life, in the midst of hearing news that depresses you, in the midst of seeing things that put fear in you, don't cast away your confidence. Why? Because God is a rewarder of our confidence in him. And he will cause us to receive the promise when we endure to the end. So I came to encourage you. There is so much working on your behalf. You say, Pastor, what's working on my behalf? God is at work on your behalf. He is working behind the scenes for you. Be confident in him. Trust in him. Hold on to him. Don't cast away your confidence because it has great reward in the end. I'm Pastor Mesa Otabel. Shalom, peace, and life to you.